This is the Frieden SRQ. Um, it does the screw and the square. First tech letter to do both those operations automatically. Introduced in 1962, and I think around there it cost uh, $1,700 when introduced. So, um, definitely a very cool machine to have. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into demonstrating it. So, for regular addition and subtraction, it's you know, the same as a regular you know, calculator. Just, you know, enter, hit the plus button. You've got your accumulator and counter. You've got power clear, of course. Uh, for subtraction, you know, same kind of deal. Enter a number. And then subtract. It's the minus button, and that's about it for that. Uh, you can set or lock different registers from clearing via these levers here. So if you turn this up, uh, power clear won't clear the counter. And then same for the accumulator. Uh, you can split the counter and accumulator via this lever here, or not, you can split the accumulator rather, you split it right here, so this half will be separate from this half for clearing purposes, which, actually, there it goes. Still gonna, here, hopefully. Um, multiplication, you know, same as your regular Freedom SCW, enter one number here, enter another number here, so it appears in that window, hit multiply, See that it did screw up slightly there, I skipped this digit. There are some issues with this multiplier, um, despite the fact that I've cleaned and oiled and lubricated everything, it still sticks sometimes, and I'm thinking it has to do with wear from the, um, the square root function, um, because the way the square root works is there's a big lever that swings down in here and punches the digits to the appropriate position. So I'm thinking that that has introduced some wear and sort of messed up the multiplier, but you know, there's not a good sample size of these you know, I don't have anyone I can ask about that, or nobody else seems to have a video about one of these that can verify that this has that same issue, so that's just a guess on my part. Do the same thing again, skips one digit. So we it to work here. There it goes, so there's the right 625 times 625 is 390625. So, I've had a couple issues with the multiplier, but, um, on to division, and same as your regular uh, SCW. And division works right, 3.14159292. Uh, so now for the fun part, which is square root. So that's what these little buttons down here are for. Now, square root also has a couple of issues. Um, the square root mechanism sits up here and has a shaft that runs through it, and for each carriage step, that shaft is supposed to move one position and engage the square root mechanism for that particular column. Now, there's no detent on that shaft for some reason, so sometimes it doesn't always stop in the right position, and when that happens, then it can't properly engage the gears don't mesh right when it tries to engage in the next column. And apparently Frieden has expected this because they designed it in such a way that if that happens, it'll just slip clutch when the carriage moves and, you know, the machine won't jam or anything. It'll just sort of give you an inaccurate result with no indication that the result is inaccurate. So that is is what it is. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think if they had put a detent on there so it always stops in the right position, when the carriage shifts, or not just when, the when it steps the shaft, it doesn't really stop in the right position, so that when the carriage moves, it doesn't know the shaft is not stopped in the right position for the gears to mesh. Basically, is what happens. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. Um, let's do. So we already know that 625 times 625 is 390625. So let's do 390625, and then you push the small button, which would be in position for the decimal point or the number you're entering. And let's see what it does. And it didn't do anything. Let's try that again. Yeah, see, it didn't get the right result, didn't engage properly. So I'll try it again.
counter is not there now. So that probably is stuck in some way, so that's nice. Let's try 65536. Yeah, it worked. So it's screwed of 65536 is in fact 256. So that works as expected. I'll have to fix my counter now because now it's not clearing that house since I messed with that lever. Um, so basically how that works is it's the uh, sum of the odd integers times five. So um, you enter your number, it enters that five times into the accumulator, and then in each column, it'll automatically set this column to five, subtract, or I should say set this column to five, subtract, set this column to one, so this is one five, subtract two five until it gets an overflow, and then it'll restore and move on to the next column. And that shaft that I was talking about is what advances the columns. So um, basically there's a gear up here that will rotate one position, and for each position it rotates, it advances the column entry by one uh, under the keyboard. So um, we can try this one again. Zero, six, two, five. And these buttons, the all of the left buttons are the same and all the right buttons are the same. The only difference um, between the left and the right button is how far it shifts over. So if we watch this one, when I watch how far it shifts over when I do the entry here. See it shifts all the way over to this position. So that time it would have worked, but my counter is not counting for some reason. I have to dig into that sometime, I guess, now. Um, so that one shifts all the way over. Now if we do the other one, 6, 5, 5, 3, 6 again, now we're going to push this button. Watch how far it shifts over this time. See, it stops here, and then has to advance one position again for division. So all of the, um, all the left buttons will shift out to position 8, all the right buttons shift out to position 9, and that's just, the reason why they have these all duplicated as, a, as an operator ease feature, so you don't have to figure that out, you just push the button directly in the decimal point of the number you're entering, and the machine will automatically tab that to that position instead of you having to figure out whether you need to set the 8 or the 9, so 9 doesn't work on this machine, that's right, 9 is always set, so you don't have to push that, but the other ones, you can set your tab stops, so the, that's just an operator feature why these are, why there's so many of these, um, for ease of entry. Um, like I said, all these left ones, so like this 9, this 8, this 7, all do the same thing. This 9, this 8, and this 7 all do the same thing. Um, let's try it one more time. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me try the other one. 3, 9, 0, 6, 2, 5. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, so. I'm not going to get to just demonstrate that one, but you saw that it worked for the 256, came out as an even number, so screw it does work. Stupid counter. Um, okay, let's do square now. So for square, all we have to do is enter the number once. So let's do 6, 25, and then we just have to hit molt square. And the machine jams, of course. Alright, so one second, please. All right, let's try that one more time. 625, alt square. And I'm even getting a nine there. Figure that out. Stupid. I'm still not clearing. All right, let's try it again. 625, alt square. There we go. So 625 squared is 390625. So, like I said, despite the fact that this machine has been, you know, I've completely gone through this, cleaned it, oiled it, everything, you know, there is nothing that's like stuck or anything. I think it's just, you know, some wear, um, especially in the multiplier unit. Uh, let's see if you, I can get this to work again. And you can watch how it sets the numbers in there. So, it does one digit at a time, and how it works is there's a big arm that comes down and stops the um, multiplication riser at the appropriate time. So I think that the arm always coming down and hitting that has caused some wear in there. 
is my best guess anyway, but as you can see, it does work properly, at least some of the time. If you try to screw it one more time, just see. Three, nine, zero, six, two, five. Hey, there we go. All right, that time it worked. So 625 is the correct answer for a screw of Fino 625. So um, I think that just about completes our demonstration here. Uh, again, the most interesting features of this machine, of course, are the screw and the square. Um, they do work some of the time, but um, yeah. The, the screw root, I'm blaming on, I think they should put a detent on that shaft so it always stops in the right position, but you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know obviously what they with what the design principles were back then. Um, you know, looking at it now, and again, you know, that could be due to wear too. Um, that is not operating as designed now due to somewhere or somewhere. But anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this look at this, uh, in my opinion, very cool machine. Uh, like I said, first one to offer both automatic square root and automatic square. Um, so thank you for watching.